So I'm just starting on scrubbing up these cases a bit. Uh, it's nice and sunny and warm today, so I'm gonna just give these a bit of a once over with a, a sponge and a damp cloth and give them a quick dry with a towel, but then I'll chuck them outside so there's no issue with these going rusty or anything. I'm not gonna record all this because it's kind of boring really. So a lot of these have got the feet missing on the bottom and I've got a lot of tacky gunge on them. Some of the feet have moved around so I've left like a trail of sticky. I found the best thing to get rid of these is white spirit or turpentine substitute on one of these coarse disc cloths. And it's just quite easy to rub the stuff off them. These need sort of picking at and peeling off. I think it's like a sticky pad. From the bottom of the foot. And then just a, a quick rub round with that. And I always find that I always find that Terps leaves a bit of a almost an oily residue. So just a wipe with a damp cloth then and that'll be uh, almost as good as new. Just need to find a bunch of feet to put on these now because otherwise these rivets scratch everything up that you put them on. It's probably one of the reasons the tops of these are so scratched up because they, uh, they've been stacked. Any kind of stickers I always find a hairdryer is quite good to get rid of them. Heat guns are all very good and well but things can get too hot especially if you're heating something like a metal case and then you go to peel the sticker off you could soon start frazzling your fingers so at least with a hairdryer there's a bit more of a limit as to how hot you can get it. Again, just a bit of white spirit on the cloth. Soon gets rid of any sticky residue. And this looks like it might be one of the cases that's had uh, coffee spilt in it. The marks on the sides here. I think that's actually rusted up as well. Yeah, you can see in the bottom here. There's. Uh, Terps on this, it'll soon shift it. I've also found this is really good for getting nicotine off of metal casing, but again, you have to wipe it down afterwards, otherwise, it leaves like a residue on the metal work. And obviously, plastics you have to be careful because this will break some plastics down. Um, I did wash some paintbrushes once with uh, white spirit. Well, that's what you use with uh, oil based paint and tried to use one of these scrubbing brushes to sort of scrub the, the muck out the bristles and about five minutes later this just disintegrated because this kind of plastic whatever it is doesn't react well with uh, white spirit at all just like trees have rings I always find with PC cases that the further the feet have migrated across the case the longer and harder life the PC's probably had so all the metal work's done and drying now, all the CD drives are sorted and floppy drive and whatnot, all that's been wiped down, power supplies, uh, I've just got all these plastics to deal with now. Uh, I'm going to take these apart as well, they're pretty simple, it's just a bunch of clips that need pushing out. And I'm just going to take all these drive covers out as well. These have got all these stickers on them, so I'm just going to get rid of all the stickers first before I wash these down. Shh, don't tell anyone. Let's just get rid of all the build up of dust and muck on it, it's just easier to do this. I find a lot of these older systems, you buy them, especially if you buy them second hand or out of an office, they smell of like, they smell of all like different air fresheners and things and yeah but it's better than cigarette smoke I suppose
it's a lot of effort to go to but at least I know these are all nice and clean then and as I say some of these have definitely had coffee poured down the fronts of them so it just means that there's not going to be any of that nasty gunk on here and this is from the um, this is from the e-machines PC just try and give it a bit of a wipe down Any faces or face plates on a system, especially if you're doing retro systems, I always find it's best to, if you have washed anything, just to buff it off with a towel. Just, it doesn't have to be perfectly dry, but enough to stop sort of droplets evaporating, because then that stops you getting all watermarks on things. I mean, obviously with this, it's really not here nor there, but something that does matter, that does help. And this, I'm not going to remove these stickers because they're kind of part of it, I suppose, with it being a more retro system. So I'm just going to use a scrubbing brush and scrub around those areas. A paintbrush or something can be quite useful. This is obviously not quite a big thing, but this is really good for scrubbing up these backs here without sort of bending these or having to mess around getting around the, uh, the posts with a cloth. As you get quite a build up of dust on the back of these. Screw there, I forgot to take it out. Remember, this is also one of the ones that smelt of cigarettes a bit as well, so this is going to help, even though you're not going to see this inside, it's going to help get rid of any smell by cleaning it. And again, I should just wipe down the visible areas, any excess, so that it just saves having to get rid of any watermarks. come up like new. In the past I've kind of de-delified these a little bit for one of a better way of putting it. You can actually pop this little ring with the model number out and I've actually just ran some wet and dry around that and got rid of all of that and took the badge out and put something else in there because these can be easily popped out. You just bend these tabs up at the back like that. Sometimes they're a bit of a pain there, but and that's it. Obviously you've got to get rid of that bit of plastic there, but the button will still work for now. There's actually a spring in there, so obviously probably blasting that with a compressor before I put it out to dry might be a good idea to just get any excess water out. But yeah, got to be careful not to snap these light pipes off. Uh, obviously a bit dafty delifying it in some ways because a great big Dell logo embossed and stamped in on the side but you know These fans aren't too bad. I uh, generally just try and wipe them down a bit. You can pull them apart, but these tend to break if you do. 
I have even washed them in the past, uh, fans. I, generally you can get away with it, but with these I'm just going to give them a wipe down with a cloth. And these Dell fans seem to have this little sensor here. I assume it's a temperature sensor to adjust the fan speed. There they have got three wires as well, so I'm not quite sure how that all works, if it even does. <laughs> 